Two PC stream setups can be problematic to set up, mostly because audio routing gets complicated. But now, there's a new capture card on the block that's here to save the day. This is the Avermedia Live Gamer Extreme 3. Welcome back to Coalition Gaming. My name is Chris, and today I'll be your stream technician. Avermedia sent over a new capture card they just dropped called the Live Gamer Extreme 3. This is direct competition to something like the Elgato HD60X because it features support for variable refresh rate. With VRR, this thing can pass through 1080p120 or 1440p120. This thing can even pass through up to 4K60 in SDR, HDR, or VRR while capturing up to 4K30. No HDR or VRR capture is supported, however. I'll put up a chart detailing the different resolutions it can pass through and capture on screen now. Feel free to pause. This capture card supports USB 3.2 Gen 1, aka USB 3.0, via Type-C connector and is also UVC plug and play. The HDMI ports on it are HDMI 2.0 compliant and then this is where things get interesting. This has a 3.5mm audio in jack and a 3.5mm audio out jack. It's these ports that will allow for a simplified two PC stream setup. Long story short, when you use an HDMI capture card and you want all audio to go to your second PC to be captured for streaming by OBS Studio, you can't hear anything from the PC you're gaming on anymore. It's all going to that second PC. Old solution was to plug your headphones into that second PC and monitor your audio via OBS, but who wants to do that? Now you can plug your headphones directly into the three and a half millimeter line out of this capture card and bam, you can hear everything again. That's it. What if you want to use a USB headset on your gaming PC though? Easy. Plug a three and a half millimeter aux cable from your PC's three and a half millimeter headphone slash speaker jack to the line in of the Live Gamer Extreme 3. Then in Windows, go to your sound control panel. Then in the playback tab, make your onboard speaker output the default audio output for the system. Then in the recording tab, you can go into properties of stereo mix, click the listen tab, select your USB headset from the playback through this device drop down, then check the box for listen to this device and press OK. That's it. Editing Chris here. I just remembered I forgot to mention something. When I had this hooked up from my laptop to the second PC, I noticed that in the NVIDIA control panel, that G-Sync was available to be enabled on this thing. So uh, from what I understand, a G-Sync is an unofficial support right now. Although because this being VRR, variable refresh rate, it makes sense that G-Sync would work. So that's really nice for a capture card to be able to uh support g-sync that way right huh? huh i am a major proponent for single pc stream setups in no small part due to their simplicity i used to do a simple ndi based two pc stream setup for years and then turing nvenc changed the way i approach things however no matter how good single pc stream setups have gotten thanks to amd and the rise of higher core count mainstream cpus two pc stream setups are still here and people are still searching on how to configure them easily the Live Gamer Extreme 3 not only captures great quality footage, it captures great quality input from a real camera as well, while making two PC stream setups a lot easier to do. For $169, I think this capture card is definitely worth it. Speaking of stream setups though, check out this video where we completely overhauled a stream setup to go from basic to awesome. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Coalition Gaming Crew. So feel free to stop by, drop a follow, and let's talk tech. That does it for me. I'll see you in the next one.